Hello, everybody. Uh, today we're going to look at um, a, a plugin called Resynthesizer. It allow and, and how to use it to remove text from an image. You can also use it to do what to remove watermarks as long as the area that we want to remove is not big. So this particular image here, I'm going to because I want to, I want to just work on this little area here and remove the text from here. So I'm just going to, now this tool will do it very, very quickly for you, but it won't be perfect. Uh, you can use the healing tool, uh, that tool over there to, to later kind of fix it up a little bit. But if you want to just a quick job, just to remove, um, you know, uh, little areas or re refill little areas, this tool is fantastic. Now it's, um, it sits, the tool sits under Enhance and it's called Heal Selection, Heal Transparency and it's a group, it's all the, all of these here. But what you need to do is, it, it doesn't come with GIMP, you need to install it. It's called Resynthesizer. You can download that um, from uh, a number of places online, including the GitHub uh, repository for it. Uh, to install it, you actually need, you get a zip file and you need to unpack it into the plugins folder and where the plugins folder lives if you go to edit preferences scroll down to the folders area there should be a plugins area in one of these folders um, so just grab a folder that sits in there i like to use the program files one um, you can click that and then open it up and 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 find it immediately and this will allow you to dump the files into there, drag and drop the files into there. Okay, without further ado, let's, I'm going to make a specific selection around the white. So the best way to do that is to grab the color select tool and I'm going to click and drag down, not too much, just enough to get a selection of the text. There you go, I have that. However, it's not getting everything. There's a little bit of border left. So we just want to increase that a little bit. I'm going to say select grow. I'm going to grow the selection by two pixels in every direction. Now we have a selection that is larger than the text. Great, fantastic. Now tools, image, enhance, and heal selection. Click OK. Not 50 is good, but if you if there's funny images around the vicinity, you want to make that smaller. So I'm just going to click OK for this. Actually, I think I must should have done it a little bit smaller, maybe just 20 pixels. Let's try both. Let's see the difference. So it's resynthesizing now. Although it is it is a very large image. I'm at 33% here. So. Now I suspect it's not going to do it perfectly. Um, this tool, as I say, is not perfect, but it is a quick fix to removing uh, text or things that you're that you don't want. And once we're finished, uh, I'm going to remove the selection. That's pretty good, pretty good. Um, as I say, small areas work really, really well. If I zoom in, you can see that that's a little bit jagged there. It, it's not perfect, perfect. Uh, now I'm going to try and do the same thing. But uh, I only do 20 here. Or even, yes, let's do 20. So it's going to get the context from the immediate vicinity. And hopefully that will have... Uh, lesser distortion around. If you have an image with large patterns, maybe that might be better to have larger, but I think I think we're only filling in some minor gaps, so a small context sample is fine. Great. And I actually, okay, so that, see, it may have worked better as 50. Um, but you can see this area has done it's done it really, really, really well. This little, little area here could probably be just fixed up with the healing tool. Um, but all in all, if I go back to okay, so that's the image. And if you were to look at it, you um, 
let, let me show the difference and remove that layer that we fixed. That's what we had and that's what, and that took me all of what, a few seconds uh, to do. So uh, a really handy tool and I hope that helps you. You can remove watermarks, text, and all sorts of things. Works best with small areas. Uh, don't try to um, recreate someone's face. Um, it won't do that, it's not that smart. It, it just uses the surrounding area and tries to intelligently fill it in. So any questions, please let us know and um, thanks for watching.